Okay, so I have this network forensics lab assignment about Snort, and I decided to create some custom rules to show how it works. So these are my customized rules, but I need to change something here because these two websites come with the same message, and this is wrong. So I need to add the website that's actually blocked. One is essentially a test website you can use for antiviruses. The other one, it's, I believe, an actual malicious website. That's why I'm going to do this from my home network and not from the college network, otherwise it will be blocked. Okay, now I'm starting snort in IDS mode through this command. Snort is starting listening for incoming packets. Now, let's set to the websites that need to trigger the alarm. Here's one, and the alert has been triggered. Very good. That's what I expected to see. Now, let's go to the other virtual machine, which is an XP virtual machine, and let's go to the other website to see what it looks like so let's go to facebook and see if it's uh, alert pops up nice this is just what i expected to see you see i have facebook here now let's move to the second virtual machine here and Let's go to the other two websites that I'm supposed to trigger alert for. One is this one, and it's related to this page, and you see that the alert pops up, which is really good. Now let's go to the second website I was supposed to keep an eye on but in before doing that I need to change the rules here because actually the sport number isn't needed and it prevents the alert from being triggered so I'm going to change the custom rules here and to restart snort monitoring here once again Again, the same command as before. So, Snore starts listening, and let's keep going with the M map here, and it pops up. Then we have the second website, and it pops up again. Now, let's add to the third website I was supposed to check, which is Finnish, by the way. And you see that is blocked. Perfect. That's all I need to do here. So you can realize how Snort works really uh, good though being an open source free software as an IDS. And it took me just about, well, we'll see, four or five minutes to get this whole thing down in the end. As a matter of fact, I hear stopping the recording and uh, resuming it in a while. But you see that Either my Facebook access rule works, and the whole thing took me pretty much around five or six minutes, as you can see here. So it's pretty fast and easy. That's all, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.